What is going on everybody? Now, as you can probably tell by the fact this video or this part is sped up by a lot, um, this part is post commentated because uh, so will this this part, next part, and the part after that. So 30, 31, and 32 will all be post commentated just because of the fact that I derped up when it came to dealing with the audio because uh, the way I record my audio or record my parts uh, most of the time I record them in bulk because I don't have much opportunities to actually record Majora's Mask. So I usually record them in bulk, so I record them three to four episodes at a time. And what happened was when I went to export the audio, because the way I record the audio is I have Audacity open, and when I'm done with one part, I mute the audio track and then r record the next part on another track. And then I usually go through them, export them separately, like have all the other ones muted for one, export that, delete that, then go on and on for all those. But uh, what happened with this one was um, I accidentally left to, left all of them unmuted when I went to export them. So um, yeah, so when I exported it, it was just all a, a big cluster of all of the commentaries like all at once so that was kind of stupid of me so uh this part and like i said this part next part and part after that are all going to be post commentated but what this part is is it is the kind of like a scavenger hunt it occurs in the the um ikana well uh when you go down there there's a bunch of gibdos down there and you need to bring them stuff that they ask for so um uh, the stuff that you need for sure is you are you definitely do need a you definitely do need magic beans which as you saw in that last little bit if you go to uh the swamp and go where that hut thing is like where the boat ride is uh right in front there is a deku flower put the deku mask on talk to the deku that pops up and you could buy magic beans from him uh, other stuff that you need you need I actually don't think you need bugs, but you that's one of the things that one of them asks for. You do need milk, you need fish, and you need Deku nuts. You need those. I know you need those for a fact. Uh, others I'm not 100% on, but I will leave a list of the items that you absolutely do need in the description down below and where you can get them. So, uh, stuff that you do need, uh, like I already said that, uh, where to get them. I already told you where to get the magic beans. Deku nuts, you can get the Deku nuts wherever by killing the Deku Babas. What I believe what I did in this video was I went to go um go to the store and just bought them there. But um other stuff that you do need. Uh for the milk, I believe I'm about to do this right here. Uh the milk, if you go to this no, do I? No, I think I just... No, I get the fish right here. The fish, uh, there is this pond that is right over here by the western seacoast thing. But uh, if you put the Zora mask on and have a jar handy, you can chase the fish around, scoop them up. That chest right there has has a red rupee in it. So you get that if you really want to. But uh, the only thing you do need from there is the fish. Uh, next is the milk. So if you go to this little uh, fallen tree right here... Uh, and you put the blast mask on or bomb whatever if you blow up right in the middle there is a hole that you reveal and you drop down there there's some cows and to get the milk you just have an empty jar handy or in your inventory i, I guess just on one of your c's and then you just play equal a song and the cows will give you milk uh, this part here um i'm just getting the bomb bag because i don't i believe i don't have it at this point so i'm just waiting for uh, it to be midnight so I can you know do the whole bomb bag event thing and that's pretty much what this is um, I don't know if I explained this but here it is uh, to get the bomb bag you just uh, wait till midnight on the first day and then that old lady will be walking through the northern most northern part of clock town just make sure that uh, the burglar or Saikon I believe that's his name or Saikon just however the hell, the hell you want to pronounce it but um yeah, so that's the way uh, getting the bomb bag works. That this happens here. I uh, get the bomb bag, and then I just get bombs. And yeah, bomb chews. Uh, you honestly, you don't need the bomb chews at all, like anywhere in the game, to my knowledge. So 
yeah, that's that's something. But um, yeah, I believe I got everything that I do need. I'm pretty sure I just bought the Deku nuts there. So um, I am there here I accidentally drunk or drank half the milk. So I think I do that a couple times because I'm stupid and I didn't take it off of my uh, down C at all until I was smart enough to say, hey, maybe I shouldn't put it on my down C. So um, once you get the milk or just anything in the jars, I recommend just moving them away from one of the C buns so that you don't accidentally drink it like I did or use it up like I did. Um, the bugs, like I said, I don't think you need them to progress to get to what you need. I think uh, the Gibdo that's guarding the bug door or the big with the the door behind the bug Gibdo, uh, I believe it's just a chest that has purple rupees. I'm, I'm not 100% on that one. But uh, with the bugs, there is a room in here where... Uh, the, the room, there's um, there's like a fire-breathing eye thing. One of those fire... that one right there. If you go in here, chop down some of the grass, there's bugs crawling around from one of the grass. Patches, I guess. And you just use the jar, scoop that up. There you go. So, uh, right here, I do not know what that item is, to be honest. I think it's spring water. I'm, I'm not 100% on that one. But, uh, to fish, go through here. Uh, this brings you to the Poe room. Uh, I I'm pretty sure I forgot how to fight the Poe here. So, I think I leave this room and then go back to it later. But, uh, the way you beat the Poe is you need your, you need arrows. And you just beat the Poe by shooting it with arrows. So, um, yeah, I, I drank milk there because I was about to die and I didn't want to die. So, I do have to go back out and get the get milk from cows. So, um, yeah. Anywho, uh, no. Was it? No, I think I gave the fish to that one guy. Or was it the milk? I, I, I don't know. Was it the milk? I honestly don't remember. But, um, yeah, uh, like I said, the Poe really isn't much. Oh yeah, I do need. You do need a full glass of milk, a full, full jar of milk, and it, it was the, uh, the no, the the bug one that has the uh, the chest that has the purple rupee behind it. Um, I I don't know, but anyways, uh, random stuff, uh, stuff that you really need to watch out for in this, uh, the well, uh. I, I think I said this, but you do want the Gibdo mask on for the majority of it because these Gibdos do act like do every other Gibdo. If you are not wearing the Gibdo mask, then they will do their little screech thing. You won't be able to move, so that gets annoying. So just have the Gibdo mask on whenever you're in the well. But, um, yeah, me, I don't know if I should have sped this up more. I, I don't know. I feel like talking for nine and a half minutes or almost ten minutes, I guess. So, um. Yeah, as soon as you show him, show him the pole, the po or give him the postal. Also, when you're fighting the Poe, make sure that when you do kill the Poe, make sure that um, or try your best to make sure the Poe is in the middle of the room because I have had or I have killed the Poe and the, and it has died like inside the wall. So it was really difficult for me to scoop up the soul because when the Poe dies, the soul thing is just like just like bobbing up down right there so so um yeah you do need to do that and stuff so right here i'm just getting the milk again because i drank it because i was about to die from the po so just make sure that you don't waste the milk in fact get two jars if you just to be safe because when you one jar for the gibdo and the other for health if you need it from fighting the, the po which really isn't difficult the only reason i had to drink it from that pose because I forgot how to kill it and stuff. So, um, pretty much uh, what you get from completing completing all of this this little scavenger hunt thing is once you get through there, uh, this final room. Uh, yes, the the mill. Talk to the skip though, and you go through this room, and you light up all the torches with the fire arrow. You do need the fire arrow. And then the chest, this chest will pop up. This chest does give you the mirror shield, which you, which you do need to progress through the game. It, it permanently replaces your previous shield. And what the mirror shield does is when there's light sources like this right here, where sun's shining down, uh, you block and the it will reflect a light thing. So um, you, you do need that for Ikana for like the rest of the game for the most part. 
for the next temple and area. But anyways, I'm blathering on. So that's about that. So stay tuned for the next part. And yeah.